guys, I'm Teslima. I'm Isaac. I'm Busola. Welcome to another episode of FKA Podcast, where we'll be talking about the collaborative power of GLAM institution in open movement. Yes, talking about GLAM and open, adding openness to GLAM. What is it, GLAM in the first place? Is it the fashion GLAM? <laughs> it's an acronym for galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. So oh. basically, cultural heritage institutions in your city. <laughs> So it's just like talking about how these institutions have um, adopted the open movement. So we'll be preaching open movement. So we're talking about institutions that have adopted this into their system. So what makes GLAMs? I guess it's when you probably adopt all these open licenses. We've talked about creative common license. So if a library now adopts um, creative common license when so museum they choose to release their works under some creative common licenses. I mean, I guess they really open to their like collection. Using public domain, digitizing. Yes, yeah, could be using public domain, releasing them to the public domain, or releasing them under more flexible licenses instead of just creative common licenses. There are other licenses. But as long as it's encourage people to access it more easily. Free, like open to the public for use. I think there's Spoiler a fear principle. Yeah, there's free accessible oh. for the user domain. Yeah, so I think once that's okay, like an acronym. Yes, F A I R I R. Okay, free accessible. Is is into their into their institutions or into their values or their systems. You mean when they keep them open, like a release it, release it to the public f- for free or mm-hmm. open doesn't open necessarily mean free. free. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think that yeah. there is a lot of misconception there. It must not be entirely free, just like okay. easily accessible. Like that's it. like when you say freely accessible, does not mean financially free. free. Yes, okay. it's just like you have freedom to access it. Something mm, there's like no that. restraint. Yes, no restraint. Yes. So open is not necessarily free as in the financial. So can we talk about uh, musicians that have been succe- that have released their collection, like that make it open it to the world? Maybe no, there are lots of institutions all over the world. There are a lot of the British. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the museum too. Uh, the Smithsonian institutions. I think they yeah. they, get, they yeah. release their collection in 2006. Yeah. Yeah, they are, I think they are one of the organizations with the largest amount of about four hundred thousand digital a million such a wow. wow. I think I think the Africans and Nigerians should do better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
um, like to say no. And the fact that people speak different languages, like to document a collection from a particular library now, and they are speaking different languages, yeah, and they don't translate. not be able to get a really lot of work to get translators and. Yeah, I'd say that I just examined some of the most successful collaborations in the form of ways. That's so like the Smithsonian institutions whereby they release um, their collections in 2020 using the Creative Commons. Creative Commons license. This is a work. I think that one was over almost 2.8 million books. Into the public collection. And if you listen to like our past episodes you'd have you know how important public domain is imagine two points how many Eight million, million. Into, so, the so imagine for, how rich they just contributed into the public domain for, to the general storehouse of knowledge for commercial purposes and uh, scholar purposes research, like, educational, educational like, think of it like anything basically that you want to use those books for and then it's, it also shows that it, it was a lot of will Willingness on the institutions. From yeah, the yeah, they did it yeah. actually yeah. open up because it's millions of their works, not just thousands yeah, so, or so. Yeah. It I it's 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 actually made them richer. Richer. Yeah. I'm not saying you know like but then it's what they've contributed to the public, to the society, it's like... You're talking yeah, about in yeah. terms of um, the cultural everything. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking okay. richer okay. and okay. like... Okay. 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 No, that's what I'm talking Like, okay. Okay. what they are giving out to the public, like... Imagine the number of creative works that will come out of that. that. Like, like imagine, action, yes. So they, that just, and then it's a form of encouragement to other institutions to do, to, do to same, follow suit as well. Yeah, something. Step, take that step yeah. too. But I think they started gradually. They took that major step too. Yeah. yeah. So, so you don't really have to release two point eight million. <laughs> you have ten works to release. Even one. If you have one, exactly in your personal life, but you that have one, one won't it? Um, the the cost of documenting like the cost of just releasing one document won't it be too expensive it depends what do you feel if it's like a book a regular scanner can do that even like, a phone can scan it yes yeah, just okay. fine <laughs> but then you know taking that step shows that yeah okay, interested i'm interested in going in this direction we're interested in doing this we're interested in sharing what about like small more. institutions i mean i'm talking about our um local, life, local public libraries Local, uh, I don't want to you can partner up with library. organizations that are interested in. Can you just no, we have public domain projects yeah, that we are, we are, are, we are on okay. now. Like so, if we see organizations that have these works, or even individuals, so we are not targeting the national library and big libraries or big institutions. And so we, we are open. 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 open is open. 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 A lot is not actually going on. So we are looking for people who are actually or institutions that are really interested big in doing this. Big, big, big institutions. Maybe this local institutions it would be because private some institutions. people feel like okay we are not big enough what, what do we have how knowledge is collections do knowledge we have? is not by the amount no, no, knowledge is, is knowledge is how tangible and valuable they are yes exactly so we can do it manually if there's no money we talk about this one of our episodes so, yeah. that you can do it manually you can ask for volunteers to support you can use more output um uh, would that be preserve like the preservation method which you know manually we can easily you can if, if i'm documenting on my phone for instance i can lost my phone and no, no, no. you know, know creating into a pdf a, a repository. repository like multimedia commons yes. that people can access so i don't really like, have to come and meet you before i get it so i, I just feel like it should be on online on something it should be on their the website, website. If, they have website. website. Yeah. if they don't they can use well, but what about if the website crash <laughs> How are they? I think we should just try to focus on the positive, you know, <laughs> okay. and see, and then take steps that, he, 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 like, you should take steps that even if one platform crashes, it's yeah. another yes, platform. Yes, replicated or platform. it shouldn't be just ordered to one. Yes, it shouldn't just be platform. It should be open. Yeah. If it is open, then it should be open. Yeah. Everybody can download it and have it on your own yeah, personal exactly. computer. Yes. Your you personal phone. I think phone. media commerce would also be very useful. Yes, so yeah. Just upload it there. Add the necessary licenses. Like what are the opportunities in that can be getting from the collaboration between the organization and the all these creative commoners. Yes, we just talked about increasing the number of creative works. Like when an organization partners with um, like creative commons or another organization in, uh, interested in the open access, you know, and they release their work, a lot of creative works will spring out from this release to like a lot of authors, a lot of creatives, they can draw inspiration from this work. So it's just like 
a continuity of creation of creative then work. I feel like there will be open access to collection as well. Yeah. yeah. Knowledge yeah. sharing. Yeah. You don't have to go to a particular library, a particular museum, so you can see a certain work of art right from the comfort of your own. And there's visibility to any people. Yes. Yes. A lot of lost world. histories and lost cultures like it's yeah. preserved, it's preserved and cultural and heritage. Yes. So preserved as language. And to carbon to the Then all these uh, things, all these um animals, products, plants and other things that have gone that have gone to extinction. I guess that would preserve the preserve the collections. Creating like meta meta data of them, you know. Or even their like, images, their pictures, where they basic information yes, about it. I guess technology would actually help us in lot in achieving all this. Technology is what is actually <laughs> <laughs> technology is the main, obviously because the main thing if not for technology, for no all these things. I'm not sure we'll be able to get them. But I I feel like um the 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 technology gap is still why still, we still, talk about still it in one of the challenges. You start is like well, so, yes. over here some people there some. Cultural heritage institutions they have is that that's then yes. all these institutions are they okay with how how do we plan to all these institutions are they open to just using their institution? Are we compensating them or is yeah, there no. a price or no, anything? No, public domain them? is open, it's for the public. You are, you are just right a privilege well, you to know, house yeah, it in your you, you collection. Know, from your end, you understand it perfectly, but all these people... That's why, we that's get why we are doing this, and we can see our end. I think I agree And then the benefits you. that they start to gain... Advocacy would... Because you know all these institutions were set up for the preservation of knowledge, for sharing of knowledge so that you can come and see and know no, that yeah, was why they said that. But then over time, it has not evolved that people don't go to this list again. They've not, they've not become warehouses. Not they like just places where people can come and go. They are just warehouses that are silos. They are in silos. Knowledge is just siloed up there. And people are not. So the core goal or the major aim of setting up this institution is not being achieved. Hmm. So Please. Opening it up will help them achieve, achieve it. Them. and it's not so, they don't have to do it public to make the creative common okay. licenses, open so licenses. That so I guess like sharing. and even individual authors, steps. individual creatives, they can choose to release their works by themselves to the public domain. Or Are you sure individual authors will want to do that because they it's are also, for them to they are obviously writing to gain to monetary value and no, all that. So you're that. telling them to release it. You know, people give. We all donate to courses we believe in. Okay. Yeah. You give away more you than you support. So you me. give away your book. Not all your books. Yeah. 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 And yeah. you can choose. You can choose whatever license that is, is that okay. you are most okay. comfortable okay. with. Okay. I guess. I guess that would work as well. Some researchers share their knowledge on their courses, licenses, and they make it available. Imagine some research, some journals that ask for almost. Lot of money in dollars to access just the same journal yeah, publication, okay. but there are some that actually share this and make it openly accessible for people. Okay. But because of some courses that they believe in, so I think it it just depends on the people. But how best can we how best can we talk to the individual authors, especially the ones that are basically writing for the monetary value? How best can we convince? We are not. Them? We can't convince them because you know, we are just doing our own part and advocating and creating awareness so we spoke to it so i guess we just leave it to them their choice yeah. if they want to release it they're fine. fine so we just try our best from our end to create the advocacy yeah, well, it's mostly that. institutions that we should be targeted that because they have new, lots of well, work collection. and, and even some for, already in the public domain yes and even for individual and authors, they have all these, all these old books and they like all these books that are way past that yeah. they've been there before too they have a lot so they can just do five percent two percent five percent and then for depending on the agreement with the authors of the book it's of the books themselves, themselves and yeah. then depending on then i guess we have to check all these books like we have to know when they actually they can actually be released to the public domain because that would be another challenge we don't know the the years when these books would actually that is why we need to put our ways with the librarians. They have the also have the, 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 the bibliographic the bibliographic okay. data of all the books, the books so they can yeah. easily if it's a the digital it system published. it can easily be automated that they will know those are are entering the public domain. Be in the like they know their stuff, they are the, they are the knowledge. So I guess the that, that we just open need to glam talk is to actually them. a open glam, the, the collaboration between the collaboration between the glam musician and the open movement is actually a very wide concept. Yes, that's yes. We, but the overall 
the overarching goal or concept is that to promote open sharing, to ensure that people have access, access. to that yeah. goal of everything yeah. in conclusion. Yeah. That so obviously we are all fighting for, like we are all working towards a common goal. Yes, we are preaching because we are working, <laughs> we are doing everything to achieve that goal that knowledge is shared. You know, knowledge is not kept somewhere no, and we, stay, we are prevented. Yeah. You know knowledge empowers. Knowledge grants us to do things we can do. It gives us the wisdom, the understanding to build things, to, to do a lot of so things. So I guess uh, Africa Africa still have a long way to go because all these European, all these Smithsonian mm. institutions, National Art of Network, they've been doing this yeah. already. So what is, why are we... Why? What matters now is that we start, I'm not about yes. what, what we they also so, started somewhere all yes. these organizations so are i guess i've got yeah. the financial constraints we have to reach out to yeah, organizations or yeah partnerships i think we talked about it in one of our yeah. one i think the second episode about yeah. issues that okay. prevent this okay. from really taking ground so we talked about uh, so we can actually even work with any amount we have we can yeah. but just like you said so one man yes. Manually, manually yeah, then gradually. Then convert it to a PDF or digitizing it gradually. Really. But just to gain that structure, you know, when you do things gradually, yeah, yeah. at some point, it just starts going very fast. Right. Like you get yeah. traction. So a step at a time. Yeah, you know, this is drops of water. So they say. <laughs> I don't know if that is how it happens. How do you know? That's what I hope it's not building a day. So yeah. yes. gradually, we'll get some. And then, so many things that you've said like that, that's just that. Then gradually build upon it. Yeah. Gradually, everything will be open. Gradually. Yes. So in ten years, we should be able to say that okay, in 2033 or 2034, this is what there's, there has been progress because of the work that's been done. It started with one. I think I heard of a dam, a dam in Brazil that was so uh, open in Wikidata. So I guess we are things are actually moving rapidly. We just want, we just need to put more effort and then. Work and on then the if you are interested, Joe, you are listening to this, reach out to us. Yeah. We'll be more than happy to partner with you. You have questions, you need clarifications. You don't understand some concepts. You still have concerns about this. Are we taking away your books? <laughs> your, right, your copyrights, and you are still doubting. Do you have money to give them? <laughs> <laughs> Let them just reach out to us. Let them, share. Let them send us a mail. Because you know, obviously, everybody is. Let them just reach out to us. Don't worry. <laughs> talk to so, our email at at info at freerageafrica.org. You can yeah, reach out to us on Twitter, LinkedIn. Yeah, just reach out to us. Free Night Africa. And you can check yeah, the link yeah, in the description. Yeah. For our YouTube channels. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.